I was a young girl, I would spend summer vacations visiting my grandmother. She lived on a small farm, so there was always plenty of new things to see and do. My grandfather had already passed on, so she had a man who worked for the farm for her. He always would take a few minutes here and there to talk with me. One thing he said that I'll always remember is, you listen to your grandmother, girl, because she's a very wise woman. My grandma would sit me down on the porch and share things from her life. She always had stories about her growing up and living on the farm. My grandma was a Bible-believing woman. So often times her advice came from that book. The one thing I thought I would never forget was when she talked about sowing and reaping. You reap what you sow, Missy, she would say. That applies to the farm and to life. If you plant corn, you don't get potatoes. You get corn. The same is true in life. If you sow discord, you don't get joy and happiness. Before I made it through my teen years, Grandma went on to be with Grandpa. The farm was sold to a big company that owned the neighbouring property. The house and outbuildings were torn down to make room for more crops. I stopped by not long after and the one thing I really felt a loss for was the front porch where Grandma dispensed her wisdom. With the porch gone, I knew my connection to her was broken. It wasn't long before I was swooped up by life and all it had to offer. By the time I was in my twenties, I had pretty much forgotten the things I had spent hours listening to Grandma say. My life had picked up speed and I began worshipping at the altar of fun. My friends were what mattered and I was happy to go along for the ride. When the doctor told me I was pregnant, my first thought was of Grandma. I could almost feel her telling me, Missy, you've sound the wind and now you're reaping the whirlwind. I even thought I could sense more than see tears forming in her eyes. There's nothing like a baby to wake up a woman. My parents weren't all that helpful. I had disgraced them, so what was I to expect? My friends stopped coming around, and the baby's father said it wasn't him. I know, I could have taken him to court, but I really didn't want to put myself through that. I had managed to put some money aside, so I moved to a small town and found a job that paid well enough. 
I rented a house just big enough for my baby and I. What attracted me to the house was the front porch. It even had a rocking chair, just like Grandma used to have. One night, the sun had set, but it was still warm out. I opened the porch door to sit a spell when I noticed the chair rocking. Not hard, mind you, but rocking just the same. I sat on the bench next to the chair and watched it rocking. Then I heard her as clear as when I was little. You reap what you sow, Missy, she was saying. That applies to the farm and to life. If you plant corn, you don't get potatoes. You get corn. The same is true in life. If you sow discord, you don't get joy and happiness. Then I thought of something else, she had said. No matter how bad things get in your life, Missy, you can turn them around and make something of yourself. Had she known what was in store for me? Could this old country woman have been even wiser than I imagined? <laughs>